Hey everybody, I am in Irvingdale, California. Don't you just love my view? Uh, we're here, we're going to get loaded later this evening. So I have time to do a Bible study with an actual Bible in front of me where I don't misquote every verse <laughs> I try to quote. Uh, I'm going to look at uh, baptisms and not, not really today, I'm not going after the... Uh, those that think that you have to be baptized for salvation um, I'm really going to uh, try to deal with uh, some of the charismatic movement uh, where they want to be baptized with fire anyway I'm in uh, Matthew chapter 3 I'm just going to read the whole thing this is uh, uh, ministry of John the Baptist he says in those days came John the Baptist why they call him the Baptist? Because he baptized, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he uh, that was spoken of by the pri uh, prophet Elias, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make, ye, make his path straight. And the same John and his remnant raiment of camel's hair and leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey john the baptist was a tough guy man jesus said there was none like him not not any of the pro uh, prophets were like him uh, verse five he says then went went out to him jerusalem and all judea and all the region round about jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. This is the baptism of John. Uh, this is not the dispensation of grace yet. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees, the Pharisees uh, and Sadducees were the uh, religious group, the priests, the ones that uh, really went after Jesus and that's usually how it is the religious group that will uh, foul up everything uh, the Pharisees believed in the resurrection and the Sadducees did not that is why they are called sad you see I heard a guy say that I know that's not that funny but anyhow come to, bapti come to his baptism John's baptism it's a different baptism than the baptism that you were baptized by the Holy Ghost. We're going to look at that. He said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? He's talking about wrath here. Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham for our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children of Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth fruit, good fruit, is honed down and cast into the fire. I wrote down hell right next to that because that's what he's talking about. You have to, everything about understanding the scripture is context 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 where people mess up is they'll take a verse out of right out of the context like they do here because you hear this next verse uh, quoted all the time but it's not in the context of everything so he's talking about hell talking about the wrath to come he's talking about hell and he said I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but something's going to change. A dispensation will incur. He that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, comma, and with fire. Hell. You're either going to get baptized with the Holy Ghost or you're going to get baptized with fire. That's what he's saying. Talking about hell. Verse 12 makes it clear as a bell whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable 
fire and I wrote hell again there. Everybody that's ever lived is on this threshing floor. You're either going to get baptized by the Holy Ghost or you're going to get baptized with unquenchable fire. You do not want to be baptized with fire, people. It's a, a false doctrine straight out of hell and has deceived many a Christian. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John uh, to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I need uh, to be baptized of thee, and cometh out of me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Uh, then he suffered him. And Jesus, uh, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. He was submerged, folks. He wasn't sprinkled. <laughs> And lo, they, I know where they get the sprinkling. I'm going to go there here in a minute. And lo, the heavens were open unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. So, baptism of fire. You got three baptisms here you got uh, baptism of water. John's baptism, uh, I indeed you uh, baptize you with water unto repentance, and then you got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and then you got the baptism of fire, which is hell. Uh, flip over to if you got a minute, if you got your Bible in front of you. Let's see if I got it marked right. Yeah. Flip over to Acts chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Notice there's no fire. You will be baptized with the Holy Ghost not with fire. So anyway, uh, yeah, in verse 8, um, very famous verse but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you will speak in tongues and waller around on the floor and babble un unspeakable words and be baptized with fire no that's not what it says all of y'all know what it says but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses when you get filled with the Spirit of God you're going to witness for him unto me both in Jerusalem and unto Judea and Samaria and the uttermost parts of the earth. So you will be baptized uh, with the Holy Ghost. That's the baptism you want. Now we, uh, we call it believer's baptism. I believe you should be baptized as uh, a sign showing that you have received Christ, that you, uh, just as Christ uh, died and he was buried and he rose again on the third day that's the baptism but let's look at uh, numbers and uh, this is where a lot of the I think probably I don't know for sure but probably where the a lot of the Catholics get their sprinkling stuff uh, this is a uh, baptism in the Old Testament and thus shalt thou do unto them to cleanse them sprinkle water of purifying upon them and let them shave all their flesh and let them wash their clothes and so make themselves clean so he was uh, there that's your purification they have found archaeology <laughs> archaeologist excuse me I uh, have found uh, at the temples and a lot of the synagogues there would be a baptismal uh, hole at the bottom that, and then the steps leading up to the synagogue so they would walk in there and uh, ritually purify themselves and these baptismal things and uh, so that was what they did in the Old Testament that's not really uh, spoken about a lot in the Bible but that's uh, what they're talking about in the Old Testament anyway 
hope that clears some stuff up. I know uh, I've got some loved ones that want to be baptized with fire. Trust me, folks, you do not want to be baptized with fire. I'm going to give you, uh, again, the common man, uh, Brother Hoffman. His references are unmatched. And uh, you can just do a... Uh, that's how I did this study. I just started chasing down his references. So, uh... They are great. I'm going to give you a few references if you don't have the common man. Uh, Luke 24, uh, 49, Acts 1, 5. We went there. Acts 11, 16. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Ephesians 1, uh, 12 through 14. And then I... I that Matthew's uh, the other one but uh, he says that there's seven baptisms spoken about in the Bible I can definitely find uh, four uh, the baptism of water the baptism of death uh, the baptism of fire and, and being baptized into Jesus Christ that's the baptism of the Holy Spirit anyway hope you got a little something out of that uh, we're going to be here all day, so I'll have plenty of time to look at my Bible. I hope all of y'all will read these books. These books are not, uh, they're not boring. This King James Bible, folks, is just a lifetime of study. I've become pretty much a man of one book. I'll look at, like, his notes and uh, notes in other Bibles, but I pretty much have laid the commentaries down and just allow the Holy Spirit to teach me. Uh, pray without ceasing. Mike Kent wants to be placed on our prayer list. Uh, Carla Keck, she said her mother, uh, there, she's in a behavioral place or something like that. She's got real anger uh, problems with this. You know, the mind is a strange thing, and when it breaks, it can, it can totally. Uh, just change a person's entire personality. Uh, remember to pray for uh, Gypsy Lane. She's dealing with her father still. Uh, keep Joseph Dunn and his family in your prayers and pray for my friend uh, Joseph Robbins. His daughter did get a job and so let's praise the Lord for that. And if you will, keep this old truck driver and his wife in your prayers for safety on this road. It's a dangerous road. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And God bless each and every one of you on the other side of this screen.